All right, so let's play some sim rail. There is a free demo. Okay, there's a menu to open the door, which I'm not a big fan of. And there's a menu to enter the door. But okay. Turn on the battery and activate the driver's seat with a switch on the rear wall of the cabin. <laughs> nice. Chewback. Use the button or a spacebar on the keyboard to deactivate the CA SHP security Chewback. system. These systems will regularly check your alertness while driving. To sit on the driver's seat, press on it. Okay. So there's another menu where I can select to sit down. Our vehicle is powered by electricity from overhead contact line system, so it's necessary to lift the pantograph. Now, close the quick circuit breaker. I like those tooltips that show you the options of a knob before you actually grab it. Wait for a quick circuit breaker to close and also wait for the converter and compressor to start. The correct operation of these devices is necessary for example to supply the braking system of a train. Now set the forward direction. Move the brake lever to the drive position. Right. It may take a long time to loosen up the brakes. To speed this up, you can hold the lever in the filling position with an increased cross section. Wait. It may take a long time to loosen up the brakes. To speed this up, you can hold the lever in the filling position with increased cross section. So which position would that be? I'll just let it be. I'll just wait. Let's see, I can open the door. Nice. Some birds. Love it. To be honest, the trees look quite good, I think. Looks nice to me. Graphics wise, I think it, it. To me, in my eyes, it looks at least as good as Train Sim World. While the performance is a bit better, at least in my system, it runs a bit more fluid. Also, like the sound. Let's take a look. Oh, nice. So the cabin looks quite good, I think. It seems like there are a lot of buttons that you can actually use. Let's turn this off again so that it's nice and cozy inside. To be honest, I'm already enjoying it. Just to sit in the train. Now the train brake test will take place. Mm -hmm. The auditor will check if the all cars have working brakes. Follow his instructions via radio. Mm -hmm. Oh. Move the brake lever to the brake position. So which one? Maintain brake force? No. I just hold hold this position. Let's see. 41, 40, 80, on brake. Move the brake lever to the drive position. Okay.
enter text. on your radio telephone to confirm the readiness of the train dispatcher. So what would be nice if um, the cursor would actually change if you hover over a, a button. So just that, that it's clear that you can click it, you know what I mean? Just this usual finger symbol or something like that, it would just improve the feedback. Train 41-4018, Starship's coal mine dispatcher, radio check. Nice. 41, 40, 18, good radio. Ready for train data. I have 25 cars, 2,000 tons, length of 370 meters, one locomotive E186134, driver Stevenson, ready to depart. Stevenson? Understood. My name is Ferran, readiness number is 27. Stand by for signal indication. Press on your chair or use the E key to get up. Before we will be able to go, Good animation. we need to release the parking brake. This button is placed just behind you on the rear wall of a cabin. To sit on the driver's seat, press on it. Okay. Move the lever forward to apply power and go. All right, so you can use the, the plus and minus key on your numpad, which I will do. And you have to hold it. And then release it. And that will maintain the power. And as long as power is applied to, to, the, to the engines or to the wheels, plane will accelerate. Man, those radio check radio chat is 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 cool. just makes everything more vivid. Can I open? Oh. So now I've set it to, to zero, which is basically idle. And now no more power is applied to the, to the wheel, and we'll just keep on rolling. Nice. Nice. So to be honest, I'm already enjoying it. And I think even more than than those other train simulators. I'm not sure why. some of those um, displays here. Ah, wonderful. We're getting a bit fast. Back. 
Okay, so it looks as though we, we are going upwards, which is why the, the speed is coming down. So I'll add some power and let's see. So there's really heavy load going on. Dubai. Everything is fine. I thought I'd, I had triggered the automatic, the automated brake system, but it's all fine. I'm not sure how long I need to to get the train to an end. I want to be careful. I think at 600 meters I'm gonna no I'm gonna start braking now hold this let's see how fast we are braking so I have now applied a hundred percent of braking power and the speed should come down not we have to use this these brakes let's see driving So I, I really appreciate that they that they offer this free demo. And I have to say it's really actually fun too. Maybe it's easier to get in to get in this game than in the other ones. I don't know what I, why I'm thinking that it's better, but It was fun. It really was. Thanks for watching and goodbye.